Hello, and welcome back to the N-Squared World Domination Society on the 30th anniversary of the first Back to the Future movie. If only I had a way to go back in time and warn myself that this was on a Friday so I could have an amazing Back to the Future themed robot done today. Instead, we're going to build the SparkFun Redbot car linked in the description. Alright, let's get started. First, line up the main circuit and screw it onto place with the standoff screws. Here you can see me thinking that I'm showing off how to screw it into place. However, I used the wrong screws. You should use the smaller ones instead. Other than this video, there are no instructions on how to build this that I could find. And, as I mentioned before, I don't have a time machine, so I couldn't go to the future and watch this video to see how to build the car. Next, screw in the battery pack right here. It's a bit of work to get it to go there, and the screws do bend a little. However, as you can see here, it can be done. As I like to say, it helps if you plug it in. Then put the motor in place. Make sure it is facing the right way and slide the T-shaped things into place on each side and using the long screws, screw it into place on the top and the bottom. Don't forget to use a nut. Now the bottom screw has to come in from the inside of the car in order for the nut to fit. Because of this, the second motor you install can only have one screw, as the other motor blocks the hole that it goes into. The wheels of the car snap onto the motors. This may be a hard thing to get at first, and it's okay if you have to rewatch that part a few times, but I'm sure you will get it eventually. Then screw the ball bearing onto the standoff screws, and then to the back of the car. It can be a bit tricky, and some helping hands would probably make it easier. Also, why is that ruler in frame? That's supposed to tell me when something is out of the frame. I need the cameraman from the computer video again. It's probably a good idea to make sure the car moves smoothly now that you have all the wheels on. We're almost done, so screw the three line follower sensors, and yes, that is their official name, under the largest standoff screw and then into place on the front of the car. And don't think I can't still see you, Mr. Ruler, trying to make yourself an internet star. Well, it ain't gonna happen, so just go back to being a marker just outside of frame. Now, as you install the line follower sensors, make sure they don't scrape along the ground when the car moves. It should come really close, but not quite touch just unlike that ruler. Then wire everything up and feed the wires through the board. Finally, add standoff screws to the corners of the board as shown. After you've done that, line the top of the board up with the bottom and screw it into place. Hopefully when you do this, you won't notice that you put together the whole underside backwards, though that would be impressive. Now you got the car built, but it doesn't do much at the moment. So, the red and black wires coming from the left motor go in the pins labeled red and black under the words left motor. I'll let you figure out which wire goes in which slot. Same thing with the right motor except with the word right. The sensors are also very easy to wire. Using any of the four sets of pins labeled sensor, the out wire goes to pin A0, 1, 4, 5, 6, or 7. The VCC wire goes to the 5 volt pin, 
And finally, the ground wire goes to the ground pin. And you thought the Zelda's lullaby alarm clock was hard to wire. Now that little circuit thing you have can go over the sensor pins with A4 and A5. Honestly, I have absolutely no idea what it does, but at least you own it. Here you can see the finished product along with all the other stuff that I couldn't see in any of SparkFun's product videos, so I have no idea where they go. And of course, the ruler. Alright, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, consider liking and sharing it. Subscribe so you can catch all the amazing robotics, electronics, and 3D printing projects I have planned. And, uh... A, uh, a young man in a lab coat has just appeared in my bedroom with a strange gray box, so, uh, thanks for watching.